Good day everyone. You are welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly click on subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today, we will continue our PowerPoint tutorial. Let me open my PowerPoint app. The app is coming up. Yeah. I have the app here. I click on blank document or blank presentation. So we started this in my last tutorial. We've done some stuff like when you type, let's say I type my name, I type John So you can increase the, you can change the font type, you can change the font family, you can increase the font size. If you missed my previous tutorial, kindly check my playlist to look for the previous tutorial. Today, we will start with shape outlines. Let's say for instance, I have a shape here. And I click on shape outline. That is how I wish to, I want to change the outline. As you can see, as I mouse over on red color, I have my outline changed to red color. As I mouse over on yellow color, I have my outline changed to yellow color. And you can as well change the width. Let's say for instance, I change the width like this. I go back to shape outline. I, I mouse over on red. If I click on red, you'll be able to see. We are able to change the outline of our shape to red color. And you can as well reduce it like this by pressing your left click on this edge and drag it. You can increase it like this. So the next thing that we will look at is let's say I have a text like I am um, I want to align this to to left. Yes. I have my name is Atai Janeiro Akonde I'm a full staff I am proficient So fine. I have this text. So I want to show you how you can use find and replace. Let's say I want to I want to look for full stack. I want to find full stack in my text. So I click on find. I type what? I type full stack and I click on find. Wow. We we have full stack being highlighted, right? So once I click on find, it will highlight what that specific particular word for me. So let me do it again. If you want to find a word like this, you click on find. You enter the text. Let's say I enter HTML. If I click on find, it will highlight HTML for me. Fine, that's fine. For replace, you can click on replace. You find a particular word or a sentence and you replace it. Let's say I want to look for proficient. Proficient, and I want to replace it with with good. I click on what replace or PowerPoint search your presentation and made one replacement. If I click on OK, you will not see proficient there again, but you will see what you will see good. That's how to use find and replace. Let's now say, for instance, you have shapes. In your presentation and let's say you want to group these two together you want to do it in such a way that if you drag one if you are dragging one out of this you'll be able to drag both at the same time so if you click on select that is a left object you can if you i left click left click here then i use my right hand to drag it like this 
I'm able to use this select to select these two objects together. And if you right click on one of them, you can easily group the two together. So meanwhile, if you drag this, you'll be able to what to drag both. If you drag this, you'll be able to do what to drag both. So we are able to do what to group the two objects together. So let's move to insert. So as you know, in PowerPoint, we have home insert design and all. We'll do everything one after the other. So this is insert. We have new slides. We've done this in our home where you can insert your new slide. This is insert. If you click on insert at default, I told you it will give you a format. It will give you a slide with format for format of what title and content. We have what title or what content. So and if you want to. If you want to select another layout, you can easily click on this drop down arrow and select the particular layout that you want. Let's say to content. You have your title, content one, and content two. So I click on this. Can you see? We now have three slides in our document. And from here, you can have, let's say you have your title here. Let's say the title is Complete PowerPoint Tutorial by I highlight this and I want to reduce the font size to so let's say 30. So we have the font size to be 30. I want to change the case to upper case. I want to centralize my text by clicking on this and I want to boot it by clicking on this. Wow. So I would like to change the font. I would like to change the font family to so times new Roma. So I type times new Roma. We are able to centralize our text and change the font family and we change the font size too. So let's say here I want to have like a couple of text here. I want to copy this one. I copy this and I paste it here. Let's say I paste it twice. So I will just reduce it. So I want to highlight this so that I can change the font type to Times New Roman. I can justify my text and I can reduce the font size to let's say 18. So if I reduce the font size to the 18, then I can now increase the line height. Yeah. Let's say 1.5. So I can do the same thing for this place. So I can do the same thing for this place. Copy this and I paste it here. So this shows that I have a layout for title and two contents beside each other. So but this one is title and a content, while this one is title and a content. So let's move on. So that's how to create a new slide. So in PowerPoint, you can create a table. Yeah, you can you can create a table as in Word document too. You can create a table. As you can see, let's say we have a table table for students that contains year number, names, matric number, level, and gender. So if you press tab, let's say your serial number is one. Full name. Your name is Patai Jamil Akonde. Magic number is one nine 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 or one 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 one. The level is graduates and gender is what male. So you can copy this and paste it here. Wow. So you can copy it and paste it here like that. So that's how to create table in PowerPoint. So there are some designs that we have for table in PowerPoint. There are some designs that we have. You can customize your table. You can even draw table and all. So for pictures, you can upload picture to your document. Let's say I click on pictures. I want to upload a picture to my presentation let's say I want to pick from thumbnail 
so and I click on this wow so we are able to do what to insert picture into our document if I don't like if I don't have interest in this I can easily click on delete button so I want to insert another picture to my presentation I want to insert the picture to my presentation so I click on this and I insert it well this is it so we have this picture here so you can resize the picture if you like so that it, it can fit the page so we have it here subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos for that jamia content powerpoint and all so that's all about picture this online picture you want to get your pictures from online so let me try and create another slide i click here let's say title and content only so i have another slide here so this screenshot if you click on this screenshot it shows that you want to screenshot you want to make a screenshot of your screen but don't forget not this powerpoint it will minimize this powerpoint immediately and cl i click on this and whatever screenshot that we have it will paste it inside your presentation i click on this can you see so let's say i want to achieve my so some in the part of my desktop i click like this and i drop it you, see, you automatically put it inside your what your presentation that's how to use this tool called screenshot so picture album you can upload as many pictures as possible on that picture album so if you want to select from five five uh, five or disk that is you want to select from your computer so let's say i click on this i click on i press control to select multiple pictures so i click on this so if i click on insert let me reduce it to so if i click on insert now i'll be able to have photo gallery then you click on create wow can you see what we have now so we have pictures now what in our gallery we have pictures now so you can edit this to whatever you want let's say batai jamio akonde so we have this as our well, photo gallery we have this so let's move on after this photo gallery we have shapes that is you can we've done this before both microsoft board and even in this powerpoint too so you can see you will draw different kind of shapes we we'll later draw some shapes in this tutorial that will make sense you can draw different kind of shapes from and you can change their color as well you can change the outline you can change the, to whatever you want so you have overall privilege over the shapes you can change them to whatever you want so after shapes we have smart art so let me create another slide by clicking on new slide so i have another slide here so i want to go to smart art as you can see we have some smart art here that you can import and what and edit you can import them and edit their value so let's say one two three and so on so you can import your what you can import your smart art and edit them as well in powerpoint we have we have charts you have bar charts pie charts and all so you can easily import your pie charts and edit it but note once you click on chat automatically you have a microsoft excel sheet pop up as you can see it will pop up so use that microsoft excel sheet to to, to determine how your chart will look like let's say for instance i want this the one that occupied the entire color i want it to be the the smallest among others so i can easily change this to 0.2 so once you click out here you will see what will happen as i click out can you see it's now the, the smallest among others so you can as well change this first quarter second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter you can change it to let's say for instance for time Daniel Akande then Ola. So once you click out, we are able to change the, 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 the label or let's say the category to whatever we want. So that's how it works. So let me create another slide and go to 
Start. So when you are once you are done with your chat, you can simply close this one. It will not affect your existing chat that you've done. So come to insert again. So we have hyperlink. We use hyperlink to go to directory of our choice or directory of our interest. You can use part you can use hyperlink to do a lot of things. We will discuss more about this later in our tutorial. So this is comment. You can use comment to comment a portion of your work. Let us someone ask you to correct something in your document or in your presentation. You can use comment to do that. Let's say I have this text. I have this text. So I can easily I just pasted it. I press Ctrl V to paste this because to paste this because I've copied it before. So I want to comment this that I want to comment this. I click on comment. Once you comment, you see this one that will come up where you will enter your word comment. So let's say I have, I have added the details to my presentation. So that's a comment. This shows that whoever that is reading your presentation will be able to say, Oh, this guy has a comment here. And once they see this, they will be able to read a particular comment. And you can as well delete the comments from your presentation you can delete it with ease you can easily remove it by clicking on this icon that's all the comment has gone we have text box text box will allow you to to make your text movable without going through any stress let's say for instance i want to move i want to move this text without using this text box it's not easy for me let's say i want to move this text like this it will not even move so, but with the help of what text box, let me create another slide so that, or as you even delete this, you can delete this uh, existing text box. You can delete them. So we are able to delete everything. So we have blank page now. So I want to go to insert and go to my what text box. So let's say I draw a text box like this, as you can see. So let's say the text text contain my name, Patai Jamio. So with this text box, you can easily move this text. Can you see? I'm able to move it as I like. That's one of the power of text box. It will allow you to move text to anywhere you like and customize text anyhow you like. So we will continue from here in my next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click on bell icon to turn on notification for my upcoming tutorial. Thank you and God bless you.